Greetings. How is everybody tonight? I'll make sure everybody's like to make sure everybody's doing well. I see Naxpix and Mariano in there. Everybody's doing well tonight. So, it's going pretty good, Nax Picks. Cannot complain. Going pretty well. So, I'm going to. Hey, what's up, CMM? We're gonna throw this up real quick. I want to bring this back up to everybody's attention, of course. A little announcement time. Saturday, this Saturday, May 23rd, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We're having uh, another uh, CKK online event. Uh, it's gonna be UMK3 once again. And uh, this time, uh, it is to benefit Arcade Legacy. Um, Arcade Legacy uh, has been good to us uh, over the years. We started having the event there in 2016. It uh, started as a 13-player event with one game. Uh, and that, of course, being Ultimate MK3. Uh, we had casuals the night before at McLovin's house. We had casuals later that, uh, after the tournament at McLovin's house, and we had some MK Trilogy casuals uh, at Arcade Legacy after the event was finished. But it was, ele it was 13 guys. I might have said 11, but it was 13 guys. Uh, and then we played some Trilogy afterwards. Uh, 2017, we had, uh, we had a full-blown Trilogy event. We had UMK3 again. Uh, and then we also had um, we also had two v two teams as it was kind of an afterthought. I think we streamed some of it. The rest of it uh, we actually had to go because it got too late, and everybody had to close up. And uh, so we finished uh, we finished the two v two tournament at McLovin's house at like three in the morning. The year after that. Now uh, the 2018 event is when we had full blown 2v2. We had 1v1, 2v2, trilogy, and ramper. Uh, and I think we had we had 19, we had 17 for the 2017 main event. We had eight. I think we had 21 or tw or 19 or 21 for the 2018 event. Uh, and then the 2019 event we had uh, UMK3. Doubles UMK3, ran per UMK3, Trilogy, we had MK2, and we had uh, MK2 Tag Team uh, kind of exhibition. Um, we had 20, 26 for the UMK3 main event. Uh, and then we had, um, we had a total of 31 entries, or 31 people that came out to play. Some of them played MK2, some of them played Trilogy. Um, we had 31 total. And then we had, a, but over those 31 players, I think we had 82 total entries uh, over all those events. So that was that was pretty awesome. Uh, but said all that to say, uh, this was all done at Arcade Legacy. Uh, we could have gone to like you know a hotel or a conference center or something like that, had it there. Could have paid out the wazoo for. Uh, could have paid out the wazoo for the uh, for the venue. Uh, but the only thing that Arcade Legacy ever charged us was a venue fee, which is the which was the standard day pass at Arcade Legacy, um, which was which ended up being good for Saturday and Sunday. Not only that, but Jesse rolled out his UMK3 machine, his MK2 machine. Uh, I think at one point we had at 
at one tournament we had three separate uh, arcade machines out there as well as the first three years uh, we used their equipment for streaming we used we were, I was able to put together some equipment last year uh, for the stream uh, but they've been very generous to us as far as allowing us to use their equipment and it's not like kids coming in and just mashing buttons I mean you're talking about high level play on these arcade machines those things take a beating um, been very good to us that's what that's basically what I said all that all, all that boils down to um, with everything going on with uh, with uh, the the malware that has infected humanity um, it arcades have taken a hit uh, and just feel like we should do our part or we can do our part uh, to help out arcade legacy in these times and uh, we will so that's what this tournament is. So May 23rd, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we've actually got 20 players instead of 16. Starting at 9 p.m., so it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't go too much past 1 a.m. And if people are still watching, we'll, we'll just jump into casuals and go for as long as people want to go. Uh, just to benefit Arcade Legacy. So there's, uh, there's a donation link uh, there, there's, uh, and, and that'll be on the stream as well. So uh, that's all I had for that. So uh, we'll jump in and we'll get some MK Plus started. Tonight is the uh, 1100 subscriber special. I think I'm up to like 1132, so sorry I'm a little behind on that. Um, but uh, it's going to be single character, and like I asked before, if it was going to be one character, who would it be and why would you pick Scorpion? Well, because I like Scorpion. He's my favorite. So we're going to go through some MK1 Plus. Paul was gracious enough to send me over a build that uh, he just finished up working on and testing. So I've got some exclusive build. Now I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna uh, turn on all kinds of crazy stuff. Just the stuff that we know is tested and good. So uh, the extra moves will be on. The improved mechanics will be on uh, for MK1 Plus. Reptiles enabled, but I won't be fighting against him. I won't be fighting as him. So that is that. And uh, I suppose, without further ado, we'll get into it. Hey, Paul. What's up, Master of My Universe? So here we are. And here we go. Right. I'm not very good at this, so bear with me. Actually, hang on. Sorry. I need to check the, uh... Let's do this real quick. Eh, we're gonna leave it at medium. Because I'm not that good at this. I am not that good at MK1. But, uh, you know what? Let me walk through the menu here. Classic play, improved mechanics, extra moves on, randomizer on, send to fatality time on, improved tower time. Go to a debug option. I'm going to lose a little bit. So, isn't there one where the opponent finishes you? Maybe I was looking at a previous version. Uh, oh, uh, CPU settings. There we go. CPU always finishes. I always lose. I lose a lot, so you're going to see some fatalities. There we go. let this roll down. I love the new tower look. Scorpion, win, fatality. 
Hey, I'm one for one. Yes, the new roundhouse is pretty cool. Oh, man. Scorpion wins. Shino Baller. Rumor has it Kano used to uh, polish his head using the uh, bowling ball polishers. <laughs> the bowling alley he grew up in in Chicago. Scorpion wins. Fight. Uh, he got an air teleport CMM, and it can also be. He also can do a forward teleport. Get out of here. Oh! Ho ho ho! Oh yeah, eat them punches. Scorpion wins fatality. Alright, probably coming up on my first L right here. should be punishable. Just because you're the god of thunder doesn't mean your attacks are free. <laughs> Boom, eat it. Scorpion wins. Fight. That's MK3 punish right there. Eat it, Raiden. Oh yeah. Test your might. Kinda weird how there's a bunch of nothing behind that stone. Hey, Black and 45. Solo. Nice try. Sorry, baby. Scorpion win. Fight. Get over here. Come here. Alright, 
That's one loss. There we go. Everything's punishable by the forward teleport. Yeah, I think I noted that on the bug list. I, I have, I kind of, I wonder if it's, it's getting like in the way. What? Oh, Scorpion, you suck! It's like the character is getting in the way, and that's blocking his velocity. There's a way to do the sans repel when he does that move for the first couple ticks. That might, I, I don't know. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Yeah, the the more frequent test your might is pretty nice. Scorpion wins. Yeah, had a boy scorp. The other scorp. So punishable. There's a nice trust and easy combo. I was gonna kick you in the face, but I'll burn you anyway. Scorpion wins fatality. Oh, here he come. Here comes Scorpion, the big red E. Why is everything punishable except for what... Ah. Oh yeah, eat that sub. Nope. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. He canceled out that... Oh yeah. Oops. Oh boy. What? Oh. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Got a little bonus damage on Louie there. Ah, ho, ho. that was sweet. Liu Kang wins. Man, Scorpion just got straight up abused. Scorpion. <laughs> Here he come again, back for more. Bonus damage on Lou. Take any. Ah! Wins. Oh man, I was about to start getting it. Start sounding like Mr. G Star three two one in a second here. I don't know if you guys ever watched his videos. That guy could get upset. I love how Goro gets all giddy when Sub Zero freezes somebody in there. Oh, 
Ah, I'm dead again. Oof. We go all the way over here. Oh no, I don't mind it. I'm just, I'm just trying to keep it mostly family friendly here. There we go. Oh yeah, take that, Lou. That's what I thought, son. Oh, oh no. Here it comes again. Oh, yeah, run into them punches. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I love Mr. G-Star. It's sad he's not made a game. He's not made a video in like a year. Oops. I've always wondered why Gordo gets all crazy when Sub lands a free, uh, an air freeze. Or a freeze when the opponent is in the air, more accurately. No! Oh yeah. Eat a forward teleport loop. Get burned, bro. Scorpion win fatality. Ah. Test your might. Atta boy. Woo. We're on to the next E. E. Fight. Man, I love how he can. Oh, almost got the happy birthday. No! Oops. Scorpion wins. Yeah, CMM, it reminds me of that Simpsons episode where... Um, Bart is like Bart becomes Mr. Burns' heir or something like that, and he brings Lenny, Lenny or Carl. I think Lenny. If you can tell me without using the letter E why I shouldn't fire you, you can keep your job. Well, he says, uh, I'm a good work guy. You're fired. But I didn't say. Oh, you will. E Today, Kano. Oh man, Goro's getting excited. Scorpion wins. Fight. It's crazy how punishable these moves are. Just all of like. You know, MK was like that. Oh! We'll call that a belated happy birthday. We got them both. So. Oh, man, that's not the way Kano wants to ride Sonya. Mm -mm. Not, not a good look, Kano. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> ah. ah, gotcha. Oh no. He stomped me. He belly he, he belly bumped me. Ow. Thanks, Rodrigo. Scorpion wins. Fight. 
appreciate that, man. I've always wondered why there's such a delay between when the announcer says fight and when you get control. It only happens in the Gora match. Ow. Ah! Oof. shows you how much Shang Tsung thinks of Goro. He starts laughing even when Goro's in danger. Hey, Gerardo. Oof. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get for celebrating. And we're on to Shang Tsung. Scorpion wins. In the famous words of Bill Belichick, to paraphrase, we're on to Shang Tsung. Oh boy, that was awful. That's okay. We're about to crush old Shang here. Look at that throne room. Well, just stand there and watch, why don't you? Man, the damage on his fireballs is brutal. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, that was smart. Got you, boy. Scorpion, win. Fight. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> got you. Ha! <laughs> Eat that, Shangy. Oh boy. Scorpion, Liu Kang, Raiden, Kano, Johnny Cage. Oh yeah. Kinda wish Shang, Shang Tsung would do something besides fall over there, like evaporate or explode or something. That would be kinda cool. Hey, he looks a lot like Johnny Cage with his mask off. That's the darnest thing. Soul Breaker he is with the added forward teleport and the air teleport that might make him a little overpowered against the CPU. But it definitely it would I would imagine it would definitely give him a competitive bump. Um, definitely give him a competitive bump versus uh, against human players. But uh you know, Paul, what I did for his forward teleport in UMK3 Plus is I just, uh, I gave it the same move ID, uh, as the, uh, as the regular teleport, and so they, they react to it the same way.
Hey, there's me. Mariano, when uh, Beta 2 was being tested, I got out. Uh, I got out some MK Fire and Ice, and I did some. Uh, did like a 1600% damage combo in the corner with Sub-Zero and Scorpion. It was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright, well that is that. That is MK1. Alright, so let me get some MK2 going. Very, very well, very, very nice. That MK plus, that is, that is some outstanding work. But yeah, it the forward teleport and the air teleport gives him some, uh, gives him a competitive edge. I, I feel like against the, uh, against the CPU, uh, but it will definitely bring him up with. Uh, with the competitive stuff because he's well he, he sucks competitive excuse me he sucks competitively um, um, yeah he sucks competitively uh, PvP 1v1 one, one whatever you want to call it in uh, in MK2 or in MK1 he's not that great versus uh, not that great one player yeah he needed to be brought up. That's that's what I was that's what I was looking for. He needed to be brought up. If if I can say nothing nothing else about it, he need he needed to be brought up. All right, let's get some MK2 going here. Let me get this thing straightened out. I think I gotta I gotta adjust the uh, video here. There we go. Just did over here. We'll be set. Might need a little bit more. That should be good. All right. Oh, I got to configure. When hey Arturo. Tag mode in all all of these games is just insanely fun. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see. Um, base game mode. Extra moves are always enabled, baby. Characters, improved AI off. I suck bad enough against the AI as it is. Random fight letter, okay. Stage options, mountaintop. Game over stage wasteland. Yeah. Heck yeah. No, I like the order. And I, I will also say that uh, I thought the mountaintop was a great stage. I actually liked the flash and the screen shaking with the random thunder hits. I always thought it was great. I had thought about making the uh, uh, the MK3 portal shake with the thunder, but I didn't. Uh, no. 
do hard. Ultimate, I, I just bought this monitor. I am not going to put a controller through it. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. I used to be able to get to Kentaro in the arcade on a fairly regular basis, so... I love this. I, I love the mountain music. Love this. Alright, Lewis, down you go, buddy. Favorite stage in the MK series right here. Why doesn't he get an air spear? He needs it. That's not good. Round two, fight. One, Lou. Well, that's not good. Maybe I shouldn't have put the volume up for the the difficulty up where I did. <laughs> oh, for one, that's not that's not a good look to start. I hated the fact how his harpoon just about never hit. Like, it, like, it would never hit on the ground against an opponent. Against a computer opponent. There we go. Yeah, CMM, we'll get to see a bunch of fatalities, that's for sure. favorite fatality in the entire franchise right there. Absolute 100% my favorite. 100% without a doubt. Absolutely favorite. Oh, that was cheap. I wasn't even off. I, I was on the ground, Jax. You... Oh, I got one. Oop, never mind. I also thought it was just a little cheesy. Now, why would you do that, Katana? You know better. This was a little cheesy. Anywhere on the screen. <laughs> Oh yeah, gotta love that anti anti special sweep for Kentaro there. Hits from anywhere on the screen, darn near. Oh what? Can you cheap? Cheap for cheap. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I 
I tried to put some emphasis on the high punch there, and I paid for it. Oh! I just got round. Just, oh. Baraka put the round pass on me. Eat one. Get some! This was the pat. Oh, I missed. And I'm in the corner. I'm effed. Oh! 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 Baraka getting a little too, uh. Oh, Scorpio! Are you really gonna do me like that? Wait a minute, what? Do those bones say something when you do that fatality? I seem to remember that they might have in, in plus. Oh. <laughs> I love how... Like, I, I love the... Uh, the unused Jax voice clips. And some of those were used in the Genesis version of the game. That was used in MK3 in the SNES version when they got swept. Whoa. And you're going to throw me. Imagine that. Get out of here. Get out of my way. Oh, smart. Good night, sweet prince. Only the only fatal in fatality. I noticed that a long time ago. Only fatal from fatality gets uh, blood drops. Oh, look at that! Throw me from. Yeah. Eat a spear. Oops. Oh boy. Why you gotta follow me? Why you jump after me, sub? Get bodied, bro. Bow. Oof. As the kids say. Oh, there he is. The man himself. Nobody likes the toasty guy. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Like to throw the occasional air, oh, throw the occasional air throw in for dramatic effect. You know what's funny is I did up up high punch, and then I did down down up up high punch. And it's to, and it, it landed the toasty. I really like. I think it would be cool, Paul, if you're listening, uh, for an extra move to make uh, Scorpion's air throw um, to where you can air throw an opponent after a jump kick. E there it was. Ugh. I'm done for here. Oh! Yeah, that would be cool. Scorpion and Smoke can do it, and Jax... Got her! In, uh, in MK2? Plus? I mean, it's easy in MK3. I've never seen it done in MK2, let's put it that way. Ooh, should not have done that. I'm, I'm boned. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
Well, at least you got to see a stage fatal. That's interesting. I did not know that. I've never seen it done. Maybe I'll just have to try to do it for myself. Oops, that's not what I was doing, trying to do. Watch, up, up, high punch. Up, up, high punch. Down, down, up, up, high punch. Stop it! So much spitting. Ugh. Oh boy. There you go. Um, Soul Breaker, I am playing on a PS3 controller. Ah. Yeah, like an uppercut would work in this game. What am I thinking? Sit down, Con. Raiden's throw does almost no damage. Although I do think it is kind of cool that the characters have dynamic uh, throw damage in this game. Or they don't all have the same ones. What the heck? Eat one! Are you my buddy? I am a god at stuff. Uh, Soul Breaker, it does take some drivers, but uh, it's w once you set once you install the drivers though, it's it's pretty easy. The PS4 controller plugs right in, but it's a little bit. St I I don't really much care. So he ducked one, but he didn't duck another one. That was interesting. Yeah, eat it. Golden punches straight into it. That's right. Oh, goodbye, Johnny. Oh, poor 
Johnny. Oops. Come on, Johnny. You know, it. I can't tell you how long it was that I played this game before I realized that you fight the entire cast going up the ladder. Oh, bounce her off the wall. Like, this game came out in what, 94? 93? I was in a. Okay, I was 10 or 11 when the game came out. I was an adult when I realized that you fought against the entire cast. Going up the tower. Or going up the mountain. Goodbye, Katana. Oh, I can do a jump punch, Paul. Maybe it's all about the proximity. Gotta love that. The MK2. They can knock 80% of your energy down in about five in about five seconds. No, not this guy again. Spears out of nowhere. Oh! There you go. Just walk in, walk into my fists. Oof. God, MK2 had endurance. MK2 plus. Oof. And the special move in is a pretty nice touch, too, I might add. I like the noise they made when they threw guys, too. Like they're clearing their throat or something. I'm hosed. Ooh, right over top of Baraka's body, too.
Hey, hey! Sorry, I didn't mean to cut the celebration short, but you gotta insert coins to continue. Oh, there's smoke. Look, we show. Smoke all peeking out. Like, uh, hey, can I play? Oh, no. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> Dashy. I love Dashy. He's another one. He he kind of quit the comedy routine on YouTube to I think he focused he, he focused started focusing more on his gaming channel. I was trying to time the roll so I could jump kick her out of it. And just like that, most of my health is gone. <sighs> Not all the blood dissolves. Where's Baraka's... Special move, Blood Dissolve. That's a nice, that is a nice, uh, that is a nice ad. Oh, great, Molina's got me in the corner. Again. What? I mean, I knew the CPU was cheap, but come on.
There you go. There it is again! What manner of cheap... Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. The other, another thing that you can do, uh, Master of My Universe, um, you can, uh, um, there's something you can do against Molina. And I, t I just totally lost my train of thought. Oh, scored one on you, Mill. Oh, yeah. Like, when she goes into low kick, I should punish that with a spear. Because even on hit... Like that. Even on hit, low kicks are punishable. There it is again! And I'm thrown. And I'm thrown. beat them, and I will beat Kentaro, and I will beat Shao Kahn. And I will make quick work of UMK3. Yeah, that's it. Take it, Millie. Oh, oh gosh. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, look at that. Get excited for that con. 
cut your daughter in half. Wait a minute. That's inappropriate. Oh. I had Kentaro confused there for a second. Eat it, you cheap son of a gun. The first flawless. Feel the wrath of Shao Kahn. Dude, you're about to get the wrath of a guy that's just lost like five times in a row. The cheapest characters in the game. I got some wrath for you right here, brother. Also, how do I beat him? Oof. Kentato. Feel the power of Shao Kahn. You will die. Prepare to die. Finish him. Oh boy. I'm dead. Is that your best? Dude, Shao Kahn, why are you pointing at the pool of blood? Kind of weird. I guess now we know where Scarlet comes from. I rule this world. You will die. Ha! Chip you out, you old bastard. Or not. Oh. Is that your best? Where'd his head go? Fatality. Oh, the blood dripped all over him. Oh, come on. Ugh. will eat my spear. That was nice. He's kind of stood there and took that one. Ah! Oh. Nice.
That was pretty good. I like that. That's a nice twist. Ah. Oh my, oh my gosh, are you serious? Ah, uh, yes, apparently it is. And I'm dead. Oh, how about that, Uncle Shao? Oh, caught me midair. Alright, well, you know, baby scorp. <sighs> Baby Scorp doot do 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 never mind. You never realize how much you suck at a game until I rule this world. You play one player against the cheapest boss in video game history. Well maybe not the cheapest. But MK2 Shao Kahn definitely has some cheese. Oh, get comboed, bro. 33% on, on the big SK. Get off me. Oh, boy. You're not wrong. Hey, Stoopy. I just, I never did learn how to um, exploit any CPU weaknesses on Shao Kahn, so apparently the spear does not do any chip damage. So there's no use in me doing that. Got him down to the K in his. Yeah, I seem to remember him being very easy for uh, using certain characters. Scorpion wasn't one of them. So maybe I can just try to get a life lead and time him out. Oh, you do. I figured he would do that too. Let's <laughs> go. 
Oh, you don't find it funny when you're in danger, huh, Khan? Oh, that was just round two. Come on, taunt me, Xiao. Can't chip you out all day, buddy. That was worth a shot. That's, uh, you're talking about Tournament Edition, Mariano. I got the first hit. That's worth a bonus, right? Alright, I'll do that. Go to the corners, let him hit you with a shoulder. and Yeah, but his shoulders do more damage than my uppercuts. Once in a while, he just like loses track, like that. Like he just loses track, and then so go to the corner and wait for a shoulder. That's what you're telling me. Yep. Okay. Yep. This is working. Oh, strike. Swing and a miss. Duck it while blocking. Okay. Oh. What the heck? When I come off of it, it leaves me standing. Takes care of that real quick, Mariano.
outstanding. Oh, I love this. Can you stand that? Okay. Yep, that strategy's not gonna do it for me. Yeah, it's me. That's an that's an old MK3 habit, jamming the jamming the, the coin button. to win. Just watch. I am going to beat him. I am going to beat him. It's like the M it's like the Mortal Kombat movies are like all of a sudden you know, like the heroes just yeah, you know, it's like an annihilation when they're all getting crushed and they're just like we can beat these guys. And Jax rips his metal arms off to reveal the fact that he never lost them in the first place. This is my MK Annihilation moment. Oof. This is still my moment, guys. Still my moment. Look at that. Got good. Boop. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. You got that long startup on your arrow, Shao Kahn. Does Sindel know anything about the long startup on your arrow? Wait a minute. That wasn't. I just really never did learn how to beat Shao Kahn with anybody besides, like, Katana. Come to think of it, that might have been, like... Like, Katana and Sub-Zero may be the only way that I've ever beat Shao Kahn. Oh, I guess that doesn't work anymore. Whew. Oh boy, I'm one to nothing when it counts. Get it, Uncle Shao.
They probably have different life bars. Even though they're both bosses. Khan, I've been preparing to die this whole time. Ah! <sighs> Toronto, I'll hack today. Don't worry, bud. I will get to hacking. I might just have to pull up the debugger and give Shao Kahn zero energy. Dude, I could go for some pie right now. Got it here. We'll die, mortal. There it is. Right now, it's impossible, Carano. Bodied, bro. Uh, where's Sonya? I don't care. I did not spend that much time playing the game. Holy crap. enough. What a great looking skull. It's enough of that. Oof. Ugh. Man alive. And now the one that I've been waiting for. Ooh, let me let me just take a take a, a short break here to, to hang out and talk and just really go over what a traumatic experience that was. Sweet Gemini Christmas. Yeah, there is a world of difference, Carano. DCS is a totally different sound system than what they used before. Totally different. It's unfortunate. There hasn't been much success at all with bringing new samples in. Oh, good heavens. Where's my audio?
Oh, I know. Nope, not F3, F2. Uh, oh, I got a remap. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, that's right, because I was playing on, uh, I was playing on stick before. There we go. Oh, okay. Now this one. Let's see. Randomizer on. Attract, move, improve. Give continuation. Tag. Spider. Original stage order. Yeah, that's it. All right, here we go. Now the one you've all been waiting for. Let's see. I'm going to pull up his... Nope, wrong game. Pull up his brutal, because brutalities are fun. I don't know his brutality. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Spoken like Mario. Here we go. All right, guys. Try to contain your excitement. That's a good way to start things off. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's the matter with me? Man, it's taking me a hot minute to, like, get used to this after playing so much MK2. I think I'm getting back to it. The jump back stuff doesn't work.
There you are. It's a celebration! Love me some colorful combat. The fact that it went so much better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be that it was... I thought it was going to end up being where, like, just... The entire blood spatter was different each time, like a different color. I didn't realize every piece of blood that came out was going to be separate, like a separate color. It might be Mariano. Now that's a combo right there, buddy. What's up, Ace? Oh. Yeah, Soul Breaker, uh, that's actually part of where, um, part of where Noob's new combo animation came from. A little bit of, uh, oh boy, a little bit of, uh, inspiration, if you will. See, the computer doesn't cheese out as bad in UMK3. It's like... Eat one. For example, like, I'll, I'll show you this. I'm gonna punish a sweet block with a spear. Ah, try to. Try to. Well, maybe not. Got to be close enough, though. You have to be have to be at a good distance. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. But, like, the the MK2 CPU would probably have, like, thrown, like, stopped their animation to throw you out of your punch. Like. Because there's no animation for them <laughs> laying flat on the ground, Master of My Universe. None. Back you 
go. Hang out with Quan Chi for a while down there in the Nether Realm. Oof. Fatality. Like this right here. I'm gonna throw him. There you go. See, like MK2 would have like thrown me out of the spear animation. But here they actually take it. Take that, champ. That's what would have happened if uh, Scorpion's revenge would have ended with some real revenge. That move is so punishable, it is ridiculous. See that right there? Punishable on sweep. Of course, everything Cabal does is ridiculously punishable. on the floor are piling up. Oh, okay. Well, Carano, it could be... There's... Uh, sh certainly Mariano. Maybe we'll fool with that tonight. See how many bodies hit the floor before things start getting wonky. Oh. Yeah, both subs can't... Well, what's interesting is it talks... Like, the lore talks about how it's, a, it's an unknown warrior that's come back, blah, blah, blah. I think it's similar to... Robot smoke and human smoke. How smoke was able to, you know, escape his cybernetic body. But then again, he's also trapped. Sub, you scrub. Alright, no mercy here, you bunch of jerks. No mercy for the three of you. I've had my moment.
Oh, I love those Punishers. Oh, I love when that doesn't happen to me, too. Good night. Great, you have time to like go take a smoke break before you punish Cabal's fireball, it's amazing. Oh, punishment. He punished me for making fun of him. Like, you just never want to get caught in the corner in an MK game. Versus a human. Or versus... Oops. You just never want to get caught in the corner. It's not a good time for anybody except the opponent. Oh yeah, run into them punches. Oh, he hit me on the way up! Oh, stop that. Night, night. Ring the bell. Oh, God, I got another endurance. Yay! Not the best look to uh, go punishable against a teleporting ninja. Oh, I've modified it for when extra moves are on. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to have quite a happy, fun time with, uh, in with, uh, enhanced, with enhanced AI in this game. Hmm. I mean, you play the game for so long, and you see... You just... You see just how easy it is to cheese everything out. But. Oh. You also see. How many different ways. Each. Each opponent individually. Could whip the dog crap out of you. For punishments. I hit a wrong button. No, it, uh, with additional moves, with, uh, with the balance option on, it will, yes.
They can, Michael. I'm just, I have not gotten around to addressing that. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm going to lose this. Unbelievable. I can't believe I lost that. Ugh. You know, my preference is competitive MK not competing against a repetitive cheap CPU um ah. maybe Carano I don't know it's very to give characters the same finishers, it's kind of cheesy. Like, Smoke and Ermac... Oh, are you kidding me? Smoke and Ermac have the same uppercut decapitation. I don't know. I don't want to start duplicating finishing moves just for the sake of finishing them. Dolphin from DKC. What is that? Yeah, that was new. He's always been back there. He was just off the. He was just way off the screen. Oh my gosh. So many spears and so much blood everywhere. Good night, sweet prince. Yeah, take your punishment, Mac. Cheese and Mac.
play it safe. Right on top of your buddies. Pow! Eat it, Smoke. Oof. One combo versus Khan. Just kidding. What? Yeah. Scorpion's like, yep, not happening again, bud. Eat one. Thank you, CMM. Ah, that was satisfying. Body and con is always satisfying. Where are we going? Which one am I doing? Is this the super endurance? I can't remember. Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, Chardonnay? Stop that. This works on male and ninjas too. Uppercut loop. That was quick.
Oh no! You skank. Well done. Background for the main menu uses the same background for the character select screen. Really? Have to look at that. Oh, it's the wrong. It's the wrong keyboard mouse. MK4 main menu. It's going to be more combat for. I don't understand that, Arturo. I'm not sure what you're saying there. Background for the main menu uses the same background for the character select screen. Um, I'm trying to find that. I'm trying to find that image. Or it says like arcade team and all that. Thank you, Gonzalo. Um, yeah, I'll look into it, Soulbreaker. There's no dragon in the, uh, I, okay, I I see what you're saying. It does look pretty similar. Here we go. Uh, wrong one. Other one. Oof. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty similar, Arturo. Drag this over here. Take a look at that. Yeah, that's pretty dang on close. There's no dragon back there in UMK3, but that yeah, that is pretty close. It's kind of cool. Never noticed that before. Never noticed that before. That is pretty cool. I like I like seeing stuff like that. Sometimes like you just don't you don't notice it. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, what's next? Oh, my eyes. They're bleeding from all the blood I've seen. Holy cow. Oh, give me a second. Oh my goodness, my eyes. Like, seriously, I'm, oh. User Fala Lucas released a UMK3+. Plus. Interesting. Interesting. Hold on, I'm gonna mute a second because I gotta turn the microphone down. I gotta I gotta put my headset down for just a second. Hold on.
All right, that made things pretty much no better. Whew. I, uh, I've been working on drywall a lot, remodeling a room in my house, and uh, if I wear contacts, the dust gets into my eyes, and if I wear glasses, even safety glasses, I still get dust in my eyes, dries my eyes out, combine that with seasonal allergies, I wake up with so many eye boogers, I can't get my eyes open. Sorry, that's gross. I know. But that's how it is. Ah, oh, crap. The drywall, absolute, like the drywall work, absolutely does nothing to help that, too. Like, it just makes it, it makes it so much worse. All right. Um, yeah, Gonzalo, I'm I'm starting to consider that um, for the last probably I don't know six or seven years, maybe longer. I've had contacts that like like the FDA will absolutely never ever ever recommend that you wear your contacts at night. Um, and even though the manufacturers say that you can, like, I, before I got these contacts, like, I've fallen asleep with my contacts in before, and you wake up, and it's like you've got these, like, steel plates in your eyes, and it's, it's the worst feeling in the world, because you can't focus, you can't see straight, and you can't move your contacts because they've dried out, sitting on top of your eyes. Well, the some of the manufacturers have made contacts within the past 10 years or more or so i guess that you can wear them all night and i would go weeks without taking them out um and uh, i'm starting to reconsider that because this past time i like i've been wearing my glasses a lot more recently because i haven't been able to get to the eye doctor because guess what my, my prescription expired about three months ago. Imagine that. How convenient. We've got, we've got the worldwide human malware going on, and I can't get into my eye doctor because of it, and I can't order new contacts. So I've been stretching out the supply that I have left, and it's not been good for my eyes. I've been wearing glasses more, contacts less, and I just can't wait to get some new contacts. Um, yeah... It's possible. It's possible, gamer. My vision's not that terrible, but I do like my I do like my, my eyesight at twenty twenty when I'm working on things that require attention to detail. Alright, what am I gonna do now? I was doing something in the game and I said, ooh, I want to, and I thought to myself, ooh, I want to look at that. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what it was. And that makes me upset. Because I can't remember what I wanted to look at. I cannot remember what I wanted to look at. And that makes me sad. I've been using uh, Paul's TMS app his update for it um, last few times I've been in some scripts and it's nice it updates all the hooks it's pretty awesome it does exactly what he said it would do like on his streams um, and it's nice you just tell it to update you point it to your your binary file and you set it and go 
quite nice. I rather enjoy it. All right, here's something that I want to look at that I know has been a pain in my side for a while. I could also do some I could also do some uh Ermac combo swag. I mean everybody loves some good combo swag. Right? Everybody loves some good combo swag. Everybody loves some good combo swag. That was epic. All right, here I'll do this. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit because Round one. open up some TMS. Oh, look at that, a fatality. fatality. Actually, one. as well. I've been uh, learning stick a little bit more. I got decent at it towards the end of last year. Um, and then, well, you know. Uh, but I got a stick um this past weekend from a Twitter follower goes by dot underscore he is local and he uh, hooked me up with a stick because he mo he's moving and I guess he's done with it and uh, so yeah that was kind of cool it's actually very cool all right, I want a katana and a smoke. smoke katana. Round one. Fight. All right, so I think it's the same routine. A zero. A zero is five. Zero is C. Okay. See, I always thought those were the same blood spatter routines. They're similar, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, they're not even close to the same. Okay, so something that's bugged me for a long time is how low some of that blood spatter gets. And I think I've I looked at this before and I ended up having not a very successful time fixing it. But it's always bugged me how low that blood spatter is. Hey, all right. Thanks for stopping in, Master of My Universe. Have a good night, man. Appreciate you.
right, see you, Mariano. All right, yeah, this right here. And we might look at this. So that is the routine that starts right there. And this value here, C, C hex to A11, that is, all right, well, have a good night, Gonzalo. Uh, this, this value here, is uh, how many blood spurts are going to come out. So we can actually take this value and I'll demonstrate to you. So we're moving C hex to A11. So let's move, let's make A11 equal something ridiculous like 40. Now watch this. Blood! Okay. Do it again, would go A0 equals, no, no, A11 equals 1. Oop, one tiddlywink of blood. I'll just let the timer run out here real quick. Okay. MK3 didn't have the fans drip blood as they flew away. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Well, that might could change. I might be able to build a custom routine to reflect that. Um... It's also of note, though, that on arcade hardware, if, kata if twin katanas on certain stages, like the subway, or most notably the temple, if they hit each other with fans simultaneously, you will run into issues where the screen can flicker. And that's factory from, uh, from 1.2. Yeah, let's explore this some. So this right here, this through here, is the entire routine. So you have, you have like the blood spatter itself. Let me show you. So you have the blood spatter itself that comes down to the ground. And then you also have the blood that dissipates into the air. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. So you see the blood that kind of dissipates into the air. And, yeah, so, and they run on the same, they, they run on the same, I don't want to call it timer, they, they run on the same counter. So we're moving C hex to A11. So it's basically 12 drops of blood, as well as 12 uh, I don't know what you call them, 12 things of blood that dissipate into the air. Um, so the thing to check out here is going to see which one's creating the blood spatter, the blood that hits the ground, and then the blood that evaporates in the air. Those are going to be the two things to check on. So we can do that rather easily. Mm -hmm. 
So let's do this. Let's just blank this out. So that's going to tell us... Okay, so the top one is the evaporation routine. And then the bottom one... The bottom one is just the... Just the blood. So now all we're going to get is blood that evaporates. So, so the second one, this FFB0, 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 wow. So it's this one right here, right? Okay. All right. So this is the one we want to look at. This is the routine that gives us our blood spatter. It looks like This is actually going to be fun, I think. So we can, so this 10 and 30 hex, I'm guessing that's X and Y coordinates relative to the character. Let's take a look. So let's just do something ridiculous like A0. Yeah. So that blood came way. Okay. Shoot. There it is. Okay. So now what this is going to do is we are only going to get blood spatter from now on. All right. So if we do zero here, you'll see where the, the blood hits right on top of her like that. Now this factory value of 10 so it, it makes it hit a little more accurately. We can do something like which is the reverse. Might actually hit a little behind her. Yeah, that hits a little behind her. So and then the other part is going to be the X off or the Y offset. Do, the, do something ridiculous for the Y offset. <laughs> yeah, blood all over. <laughs> that doesn't work. So yeah, that doesn't work. So anyway. Um, this piece of code, let me pull it up here. Let's 
Let's pull this little tidbit of code up here. So what we're looking at looking at this right here. So this is these are not the uh, these are not the blood batter the blood spatter spear droplets that can get you with the malware. This is not the ones that float in the air. This is the ones that fall immediately to the ground and dissipate. So, and then, it, okay, so basically what it's doing is it's following, okay, it's hitting an X and a Y offset, and it's, I'm guessing it's applying them here. We'll, we'll see what this routine does here, this FFB1 to FE0. Guessing it does something very similar to just X and Y adjustments. Um, and then this move with a 60,000 hex to A0, random number generator, add 20,000 hex, that gives it its arc. So if we were to blank out, um, if we were to blank out these two items or if you're actually that's just blank out the random number generator all those blood spatters are going to follow the same path That's actually that actually might be the velocity. It's it's going to be in that routine, but um, like if we just make it so it's twenty thousand hex, the value. <laughs> so yeah. So that's what that's doing. So let's uh, let's actually run this through. All right, so it's moving A8 to A11. Moving stuff. Calling stuff. Step out of that routine. And that's if it's Shao Kahn, it's going to do something else. And it's going to jump to a code. It's checking for things. And we're back. Okay. So we've got our offsets in place. And then we're going back to this code. What's it? A11 at the 90 to what's at A8 at the 90 hex. All right, so now we get to look at our character attributes. So what this is, so 10399F0, this value at A11. That is Katana's object thread. Okay. That is Katana's object thread, 10399F0. So this is taking what is at the 90 hex of A11 to what's at A8 at its 90 hex. And what's at A8 now is the object, um, the object is the blood droplet that's coming out. It does the same thing with the B0 hex, and that is the, um, that is the, what's the word I'm looking for? That's the vertical coordinate, the vertical height. So it's moving those items so it matches Katana. And then it's checking to see which direction is being faced. And 
so now we have our we have our uh, velocity FFAB fifty three ninety. So many routines. Can't remember which ones are noted and which ones aren't. What they all do. Okay, so this one checks again the character, or it, it checks the direction, and then it's yep. Okay, and then from here it's jumping to this FFB one zero two sixty. And it's going to do another random number generator. And this is going to apply 60 hex is uh, velocity. Is it velocity? I can't remember. It's in a script. remember because it's in the script for the okay so it is the the six, 60 hex is the vertical velocity 20 hex is the vertical gra is the gravity okay so this is basically applying the horizontal velocity Yeah, so like for instance, if we were to go over here, yeah, CMM is actually really cool, I think. So what's going to happen here is... We're going to get some really boring stuff. <laughs> All the blood is literally going to land in one spot. FFB one oh two sixty. Oops. Yep, so it's going to go through all this. It's applying the horizontal velocity. Like, so if we were to... So if we were to do, like, A0 equals... Um, one drop is just going to go flying away. <laughs> is it going to drop? You saw that one drop of blood go like straight up. I wonder if we're ever going to see it come down. I don't think we are. We'll give it a second to see if it comes back down. I don't think it is. 
I don't think he's coming down, fellas. He gone. That blood spatter gone. Alright. Alright, so we got... Got all that done. And then we're jumping again. What we're working on getting to here is working on getting to how the blood makes its landing. That's really what we're looking for. If we're in the right spot on this one. But yeah. close to it. Okay, so... Let's look at this right here. There we go. First drop of blood is about to hit. Okay. That's what that is. That's what we want. Okay. Still not quite what we want. Not quite there. Let's see, so.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Animation process. Oh, that's the animation speed for the blood spatter. That's six hex. Mm. Okay. All right. Oop. Okay. There you are. Problem is, I feel like this is a routine that's going to be hit a lot. One oh five F four sixty. That is the floor. Stage character. Why? Yep. So yeah, that's going to be the guy. So A1. So that's the floor. The floor is F8. And we're subtracting 1D hex from A1. And we're comparing it. And if it's less than, it's going to continue on. If not, it's going to run another routine. So let's grab that little piece of information, FFB12610. Just that guy right there, that's going to tell us a lot. I'm curious because... Yeah, see... That's what I don't understand. It's like those patterns, they don't hit. Like they... It, like those blood spatters are at like reasonable spots on the screen. Like these, I feel like, hit very reasonable places on the screen. Here, though, like they're so far down. I wonder, actually, if that's because... where they hit vertically. And if... I don't know. Well, let's try something. Where was the beginning of that routine? There we go. Somewhere around here. FFP0, FFP0. 61 FF6. Okay. Yeah, alright. So if we adjust if we adjust the starting Y coordinate. Nope, still drops way down. So 
let's change this to FFEF. Oh, wrong way. That's reasonable, but then these are going to hit way up there. But it's not like it's different. I mean, those do not appear to be different blood spatter items. It's the same blood. So that is not the solution. A8 at the B0 hex. Subtract 1D hex from A1. And if it's less than, it moves back. Hmm, okay. Interesting. So something's getting written to a 1E hex. Okay. Interesting.
one second here. I need to kill that smoke routine because I need to test something. Oh, actually, you know what? There we go. Cleared him out. Okay, so that doesn't really help me at all. Always a fun time. Let me go back to this. Maybe that's got something to do with it.
Okay, that might be it. Let's try something here. Again, as always. Blow some of these out here, because that's not really doing anything. There we go. Oh, man. Sorry about that. All right. Try FFB one thirty five seventy. Oh, God, that was awful. These are just the different blood spatter animations, I think. So let's see. come out when there's blood. Yeah. Yep. Also wonder what all moves use that routine. <laughs> what? What? Stop at breakpoint F. What the heck? Sometimes Mame gets out of line. Yes. 
Oops. the animation. This is a tough egg to crack. Never thought this would be this difficult. Getting blood to spatter a little bit higher up. <laughs> oh, blood showers. Okay, I, I figured that's what that was. And that is necessary, obviously, in order to line up to where they need to go. Okay, I kind of figured as much. Dear goodness. Six two one D zero. Just curious now. Flag no blood. Okay, makes sense.
reset. That's what I figured. Ah, what else we got here? F8. There's really nothing else special to that. I just to do them the same thing. Zero FFB zero. Yeah, that's what we do that. Ha. So that's not doing us any favors. We just did this. Let's decrease some of these velocities. That's the horizontal velocity and stuff. Doesn't change anything either. I'm trying to see what's causing it, obviously, to go down, go down farther below the floor. That's the big thing we're trying to catch here. Really, the only thing I want to catch, honestly. It's the only thing I want to understand. Oh, hello, kitty. Oh, my kitty's here. Hi, kitty cat. Wait. She talking. What? You gonna talk? You want to say hi? Huh? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? No? Okay.
Ouch. Kitty. Mmm. Mmm. She's grabbing on to my legs with her claws. Ouch. She probably drew blood there. Not on purpose, but she's young. Okay. This little piece of code intrigues me. This A10 business here. Moving 6,000 hex to A10. That intrigues me slightly. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, that was gravity. That's amazing. That's crazy. was uh, definitely not break point D So that's it right there.
Ouch. Kitty. Oh. Oh, as always, this crap is just... Uh. Just, it, it's odd. Like, it makes no sense to me. just doesn't make sense to me that I mean unless it has something to do with the amount of gravity I don't know I just don't know It still drops it really low. Much lower. I mean, I'm not the only one that sees that, right? Please tell me I'm not the only one that sees that. It's just, it's... It's just odd that that amount of blood... Definitely low. The, the problem with it is, really, this is why, right? Um, stages like this. Stages like this just look bad. Like the blood's about to fall off the stage. And other blood spatter really doesn't do that.
just, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, I guess it could be the some of the gravity application. I don't know. doesn't really seem to make any difference. And it still lands low. Still lands low. Oh, I was hoping we could catch it. Oh well. doesn't make a difference either. Uh, this is just the animation of the blood, I think, when it hits the ground. It's just a matter of trying to figure out what the heck it's controlling. What's controlling it. Do some slow moving blood. I think, what, I think that's what that is. Huh. 
<laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait a minute. No. I was thinking maybe it was the... I was thinking it might have had something to do with the the animate, like where the blood is and its rotation when it hits the ground. I don't believe that to be the case. Don't believe that to be the case in this case. Case, case, case. I think we may have found something. Maybe have something here. Okay. Yep, so that's going to be our guy. trick is perhaps how do we correct this
right, so this is all over the place. It's just a matter of the animation rate. Okay. Still awful low. It's a little better. Okay, let's do this. This might be not too bad. Check this out. All right. This is where I think it goes to crap. So what you have here is these are the individual uh, frames. And what we're going to be demonstrating here. Okay, see how they're still on the same axis, basically. They're just rotating. FFD6. 450 D4 C0 Okay D530 Okay, well that turned out to make me a liar, I think. Let's see.
does that move that in there twice? Interesting how it pops that in there twice. Why is that? Yeah, <laughs> what the heck? It does, CMM. Oh my. Yeah, it definitely does factor in.
see how those hit higher up on the stage. It's because they're never animating. So I'll show you here. And these will animate very fast. These will change every frame. Let's see how low they go. So what? Okay. So watch this. This is a one hex delay animation rate. See the blood comes out. It's already in three frames, it's already going straight down. Now if we change that to four frames, one, two, three, four, So it, you see here, even then, like it's coming straight, it's still coming straight down. So the trick basically, it doesn't start animating until the 20th, until 20 hex ticks. Now some of them start on their way down. Yeah, it's definitely the animation. So let's try to find another blood spatter routine that gives us Okay, so that's blood spatter pattern 1. So FFB zero E one ten. Oh no, that's not it. Yeah, it is. Move A zero. Oh, what's A seven? FFB one oh five twenty. There we go.
So FFB1, 31F0. So now let's see what this does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> so that definitely wasn't it. Okay, FFB one three five F. What the heck? What kind of backwards thing is that? There we go. Oh my.
it's interesting. Seems a little more reasonable. Okay. Huh. <laughs> That's what I thought. So those are the splashies. Problem is, if I do this, it's gonna.
Okay. So the trick here, I think. All right. All right, I can do this. I'm almost I'm almost done for the night, but I can do this. Okay. So So that's D five thirty. Let's change that back. F D six D three E zero. I'm just changing the well, I'll show you. So now, one, two, three, four frames. So now, watch how they rotate. Okay. That's kind of hard to show, but now watch how these rotate. kind of walk downward, if that makes sense. So now, when this comes out, it's the same animation rate, but it seems to be a bit more reasonable on how low those attacks go. It's not really seeming to put the blood up any higher off the ground on other attacks. Spear here. Fight. See how just lower that goes. And if we change it to zero four, Come 
That's a little unreasonable there, but... So at 14... And I chose that number 14 because... Why did I do that? FFD6. D3E0. I'm not sure why. Because um, the second value of this D450... ADA 8A was 14 right here. Now if we went 0D, which was the arit, oops. See, have to, we'll have to see what that looks like. It's not very. It looks. It looks a bit odd. See when it hits the ground. Yeah, they like the blood hops back up, so that doesn't look right. But with everything at fourteen, it seems to be fairly reasonable. Mostly reasonable. <laughs> so it's not too bad. All right, um, at least I know where to find it now. That is going to do it for me for tonight. It's almost 2 o'clock. I should have been in bed an hour ago. 7 o'clock comes way too early, guys. So anyway, thanks, for, thanks everybody for sticking around. Um, and at least we got something fixed. It had to do with animations, as usual. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Um, had fun. Wasn't the, not, not very good at dealing with bosses in MK2, but otherwise I'm not too bad at play either. <laughs> so, all right, guys, have a good night, and I will see you next time. Yeah, Saturday. Don't forget Saturday. Thanks, CMM. Come, uh, I'll be streaming Saturday. It's a benefit tournament stream for Arcade Legacy. So, uh, come check us out.